Good evening everybody, hope you're well. This is the Tuesday evening tarot reading for no fixed sign. So if you're Virgo, Saggi, Cancerian, Libran, whatever, this is for you. And it also works with your moon sign, rising Venus and Jupiter. Okay, so take what resonates. Um, if it hasn't happened yet, if you're thinking, oh gosh, well, I'm not too sure if that's mine. See what happens in a few weeks, guys. It might all start to resonate. Um, if not, then obviously it was not your reading. Um, and if it does resonate on some level, then clearly the energies are being picked up with what's happening with you at the moment. It's all very exciting. So let's see what is coming in for you, okay? So let's ask the divine guidance what is happening with you guys. What's the first card, your energy? I'll tell you something. When... Um, uh, I was shuffling these, they were all flying out everywhere. Normally there's like one, and that's when I say, oh, when the pre-shuffle, this came out, but no, 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 no. A lot going on, maybe. Let's see, what's coming up? What's coming up for you, the questioner? Can I have a card? Yes, thank you. You're a major arcana, the Virgo energy, which is the hermit, okay? So what this means for you, with you being represented by the hermit, is you are going within yourself. Um, you are soul searching. Um, you could just be taking a back seat with what's happening in your life with regards to relationships, friends, money, whatever. You know, because there's a deeper meaning to this. You know, we can go along for a certain amount of time and be satisfied with a certain amount of things, but that only lasts for so long. We can kid ourselves and say, yeah, well, this is fine, this is fine, that's fine. But deep down, if you're not being on a soul level fulfilled, it's all a bit vacuous. It all just doesn't seem connecting. It just doesn't seem fulfilling. Um, and it's all that soul energy that has the lasting effect. By going within um, and by seeing what you like, what you don't like, what you need, what you want, those types of things, um, you're putting things in some sort of spiritual order for yourself, okay? Hence why the hermit has come up first. So you could be going into your own version of your, whatever your retreat is, you could be arrange, rearranging your home, you could be setting up your own spiritual practice, you could be working with the moon energy, it's just these little things um, that are starting to come in for you where you're starting to look at the bigger picture in how you feel rather than the next thing that's going to satisfy your attention for a while, you know, um, we generally get bored of those after a little while, but this little lant, lant, this little lantern he's got here is his own light. He's following it. He's not actually looking at it, you know, but he knows it's there. So he's following um, his own inner source, okay? Now, this is not uncommon, especially um, after a full moon when we release consciously or subconsciously. Um, but it's just coming in really quite beautifully for you, all right? So let's see. I feel some of you are turning your back to a situation as well. So whatever that is for you. That could be, doesn't have to be the actual situation on an outside level. It could just be on a mindset level as well. What are you turning your back on? Have you been over analyzing? Have you been putting too much energy in something and now you're thinking, no, now is my time. This is a rewarding energy if we stick with it, okay? So outside influence, what is coming up? That was two of them. You've got the Queen of Cups. Now, there's no male or female in tarot. Just take the energy, okay? Uh, the Queen of Cups of an outside influence. Now, I can read this in a couple of ways. Uh, the first way um, is somebody opening up to you, okay? Somebody telling you how they feel. Um, and I just feel, and I don't know what's making me say this, it's not going to be, you know, as obvious or as upfront um, as being blatant with it, okay? It could be snippets. It could be, you know, giving you hints or letting you think that they feel a certain way, but they can't say it, say it directly, okay? Hence why you may feel like this hermit because it's kind of 
being the catalyst almost for you to f figure out how you really feel about one yourself, about this other person. Um, but there is um, like an indirect offering. I'm not quite sure what an indirect offering is, but it's just, that's what the words come out of my mouth and I had to go with it because it might make sense for you, okay? So this Queen of Cups is really very strong. There is a lot of emotion, guys. And if you feel that you've had to turn your back on a situation or if you feel you're going to this hermit mode because no one cares, then this is exactly what I'm picking up on. You're only seeing the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more underneath it um, that you can't see that they're feeling, okay? So I do feel, although it's a queen energy, it would benefit them a lot more to open up, okay? And it doesn't necessarily mean a situationship or relationship. It can mean with a friend, colleague, whatever, all right? If this is not with regards to a person on a romantic level or a friend level, uh, the queen of cups is somebody coming in to help you with regards to this that you're going through at the moment, okay? So this re retrospective, um decision making the spiritual transformation that you're going through the queen of cups is somebody who could help you with that because it's somebody who's very in touch with their emotions all right um and it just seems once we honor our soul once we ask for answers the teacher appears okay the student um never seeks it the teacher always appears at the right time okay so watch out for that now let's see where you are going with this Hmm, no, that's my shuffling, because the third one wanted to come out then, but there was just two. So can I have another card? What else is coming up? Thank you. See how it just flew into my hand there? Now, <clears throat> Five of Swords. Are you turning your back on something and assessing how you feel because... There's just been too much justifying yourself. There's been too much aggro. There's been too much arguments. This can indicate arguments. So you could have had an argument with somebody. Or you could even be arguing with yourself about what you want. No one to drop the swords, guys, is what I will say. Don't have the last word just because you can. And if someone has the last word because it makes them feel better, let them. Let them. You're not gaining anything by trying to get your point across. You're on this really profound spiritual journey here. And it even seems that the energies around you, it's always being filtered now. The ones who are meant to be in your life will stay and the ones who are meant to flit away will start to flit away, okay? But don't, you know, go from the night and day energy where you're feeling quite directed and guided one day but then an outside influence might make you feel off kilter and then you might not explode but say well, why do you say this why do you say that what do you mean by that because it's lowering your vibration and you don't want to stay in the hermit mode for a long long time but this queen of cups energy could be a peacemaker it could be somebody who Helps you see the wood for the trees type thing. But at the same time, it could be somebody who you love and hate at the same time. Don't we just love those connections? Underneath the future you. Underneath the hermit. What is coming up? Can I please have a card for underneath the hermit and see what is coming in? Hmm. Guys, what is going on? Five of Pentacles. Now, you might feel left out in the cold with regards to a person. This, this is argumentative element. This battle, this mind battle. What I will say about the Five of Pentacles is there is so much opportunity that you can't see in this situation keep growing and blooming and the good always prevails it really really does i feel you need to work on yourself guys i feel there's too much energy either coming towards you on a negative level gosh I've got these ribbon things coming up here um
or you're doing it yourself. And this is quite common with this spiritual transformation. It's that conflict, it's our human side against our spiritual side. Um, if you do feel left out in the cold with regards to a situation, it's putting you into hermit mode. Um, and I would just leave it at the moment because you could poke the fire a little bit too much here, okay? Especially if something's been unfair. Now, poking the fire doesn't mean you're intentionally antag antagonizing a situation, but to get your point across, sometimes it can just be leave things be let the dust settle and see how things play out okay because there is a peace element with the queen of cups um don't take everything as face value sorry guys this is annoying me because i can see it don't take everything as face value um just by what you can see because like i said about that iceberg it, there's so much more of a much more of a deeper energy so if someone cares about you a lot more than what you think which could be your knee-jerk reaction into why you feel you're being left out in the cold here okay so somebody might not be mess messaging you as much as you thought they were they would even um and now you're contemplating okay so let's have a look at the underneath the queen of cups let's see what's coming up You could be dealing with a Leo, but you don't have to. Look at this. So the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Strength card. If this isn't with a person or situation and you're doing your own thing, um, this shows um, that there's going to be a, an opportunity coming towards you an offer but just remember with this energy with the five of pentacles don't bypass that offer the offer's here in the window but they're just walking straight ahead okay so don't be too much in your head with this five of swords no tit for tat nothing like that uh queen of cups king of cups strength card so the energy from an outside influence is very very strong obviously with the strength card coming up here this is a wonderful turning point this could be some sort of reconciliation with parents or parent figures or authority figures um, that you could have battled with to some degree. If there isn't, if your parents are no longer walking this earth, it could be forgiving or accepting uh, the way things were and for you to move on with that, which could have caused your inner conflicts, your inner wounding, that type of thing, um, and ready for you to move forward, which is why you might be retreating in this hermit mode, okay? So that's quite deep and that isn't going to be for everybody. Um, if this is with regards to a situationship or a person, um, they are balancing themselves out. So they could be more masculine energy than feminine, uh, but the queen and king coming up, they are now starting to own up to their emotions and not hiding away from it anymore. And they're going to have the strength to come forward to you okay um they wanted to be the wild child maybe they wanted to be like the free-spirited no one can hold me down um which could have caused these arguments um but that's just their immature mindset but i would not expect an immature energy uh to be coming forward to you with such a high king and queen um it's not a page it's not a knight it's nothing like that um so maybe they've had to not hear from you for a while maybe they've had to just look at themselves and think god i'm a bit of an idiot um and just move forward and deal with that themselves you cannot make somebody see something that you can see you cannot make somebody see the potential in a situation you know that saying you can need a horse to water but you can't make it drink this is exactly what it is okay they stop taming their own inner lion um and they just accept do you know what I'm just going to see how things play out. That This is exactly what they're going to be doing. But they are going to be offering something to you. There is a love offer, guys. If you're waiting for it, hold in there. And if you're single, then you could be meeting somebody through a work situation or a social situation um, that would trigger that nice energy in you. Where you think, oh, you're actually quite really nice, this, that, and the other. Um, but just be aware of it and don't allow that negative mindset to bypass all these opportunities okay let's see what else is coming in i'm going to get clarified for this underneath is the star which is whatever you want, guys, you can have. This is passing a karmic test. 
The Hermit is just before the star card, and here we see the star card coming up here. So this that you're going through is such a clear... You have to go through this, really, um, in a funny way, but how you deal with it will obviously determine the outcome. Either way, the outcome will reach you here. Just don't take the long route, guys, the lonely route, you know, just through your own reactions or how your mindset is going to be um and if you have a look here uh you've got the five of pentacles coming up and it's right underneath if you want to say negative it's right underneath probably the most negative card here which is the five of swords so this is the debbie downer energy where you're not looking at the future you're just looking at the spilt cups okay so you could have been looking at your own actions and thought oh i shouldn't have done that i shouldn't have said that Oh dear, why did I just get in such a tizz about this, 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 um, and it's not serving you. The wonderful thing about this energy is very changeable because it's minor. So you could really spin that around. So maybe look at this reading as like um, a heads up to say, look, how you think and how you proceed will determine uh, your outcome with regards to this situation. You want to reach that star energy. You want to reach that wonderful transformation. And you're getting there because you're kind of going through it anyway. But transformations, I'll tell you something now, they are never, ever walks in the parks. They are not, um, oh, I'm going through this transformation. Isn't it wonderful? And, you know, tomorrow I'm just going to be like the butterfly. No, it's difficult, it feels sluggish, it feels lonely. Um, and it just seems to me um, that your mind is your greatest gift, but it's also your worst enemy at the same time here, okay? So, you know, I could maybe use it as the subject of the video, but we'll see. Um, but just be mindful, um, what has been done has been done. I'm not seeing it as the actions of another person towards you necessarily. I'm seeing it as your actions towards yourself and maybe how you've reacted to situations, okay? But take the lesson from that and move on from that. You are not meant to stay in this destination. You're not meant to stay in this energy. There is an outside external energy which picks up beautifully for you. Um, and it's just coming in really, really quite strong. There is an offering on it in an emotional level. And I do feel somebody is gonna tell you how they feel. And it could have knocked your confidence to a degree because you could have felt that they don't care, this, that, and the other, um, which is leading you into this Five of Pentacles energy, all right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna ask why uh, the Five of Pentacles is here with this deck and then we'll go into the Light Seer's Tarot um, and uh, get a clarifier for the overall energy, okay? So why is the Five of Pentacles? No, Hannah. Why is the Five of Cups here? Yeah. Seven of Wands, okay? So the Five of Cups is here because you cut your nose off to spite your face or you have the ability to do that, okay? We are quite proud as people sometimes. And if we feel, you know, we need to prove a point or whatever, you could even be going into hermit mode going, well, they're not going to hear from me anymore because this has happened. Um, and then you kind of stick to it. And then as time goes on, you're thinking, okay, should I have maybe just reversed myself a little bit? You could have blocked somebody, literally blocked somebody off Facebook, WhatsApp, whatever that is for you. Um, but at the same time, there's too much defense going on here, guys. You know, the wonderful thing um, about the Seven of Wands is this person is backed into a corner, but he's sticking up for what he believes in. Whilst that's fine, it's good to get it into some perspective. So keep with that, absolutely stand on your convictions, but don't fly off the handle if you feel someone's not understanding or if you feel someone's too reactive towards you uh, because it won't get to where you need to be, which is that star energy, okay? Um, I thought it was at the bottom of the deck then, but it wasn't, it was the page of pentacles. So there is an offer coming in. If this isn't a situation ship with regards to somebody you're dealing with, uh, this is an offer with work or something um, that's going to take you to the next level um, and it's going to come in um, in the form of uh, a message okay but also i feel somebody owes you an apology um so this is where the whole i'm not doing this i'm not doing that might come in because they you could have been um on the receiving end of someone's wrath or someone's done you wrong um and you're defensive you're standing in your corner but don't keep looking back is what i will say okay because it's not going to be serving you keep walking towards that star energy don't be too hard on yourself overall clarifier Well, this is wonderful. You've got the Nine of Cups. She's really happy there. So you go from here to here. You know, I said this is a process. 
to get to that star energy, starting off as the hermit. This nine of cups, which is fulfilled, finding balance. That message that comes in, that could be an apology for you. It's fulfilled. You get the balance back. Without turning into gremlin, trying to get your point across. Be objective. Be silent if you need to. Cool, collected, and it will all come back around. Maybe this is your lesson. Maybe this is the karmic lesson. Because obviously we haven't quite reached the star energy yet, which is passing that karmic test. Maybe it's just to sit back and let things happen and trust in the process, trust in the universe, rather than trying to force things to happen, rather than trying to make people see your point of view. Um, but it's coming in. The energy, I'm going to be honest, which is erratic is in your positions and the peaceful energy is actually coming in from an outside influence. So which makes a bit of a change. If you see my other videos before, it's normally the other person that's annoying you. And you know, that's absolutely fine. That's quite common. Um, but this time it's asking you to reflect and take a look at yourself. I'm going to get um, an Oracle card and just see what the energy is coming up for that. What is the energy? for oracle cards with regards to this reading. Can I have some guidance please with regards to this? Thank you. Assertiveness, isn't this funny? Assertiveness. You can be assertive without having to be aggressive. You can be assertive without having to exude all your energy by proving your point. Assertiveness can just be putting boundaries up taking your energy away and letting things happen as they should. Standing in your truth, standing by your convictions, but don't be too down and out if somebody at the moment isn't reacting the way you want them to, okay? It will all be fine. I'm telling you it will because of the Nine of Cups coming up here. There is, there is happiness coming in, it's brewing. It's brewing, the happiness is brewing, the peace is, is coming in. But I feel the reason why the hermit is coming up here, you going introspective with yourself, soul searching, is because it's finding the balance with your own assertiveness and making that right for you and how it works for you without causing you to be the five of swords, without causing you to be the five of pentacles. Fives and tarot is conflict. We don't want fives all the time. We want that, you know, it's something or nothing, you know? Um, and it's... It's you doing it to yourself, okay? So be assertive, but be kind with it. Um, and also, don't feel you need to overcompensate yourself or over-explain yourself at the same time. So it is finding that happy balance, which is exactly what the Nine of Cups is, okay? But the right people are coming in. You've got a nice cup energy coming in here. If there is a situation with a person, uh, it looks like it's going to be rectified, but they're finding the balance within themselves first. We only ever look at stuff from our own, our level of perception, okay? So this person may feel unbalanced or insecure about themselves, but they're getting their raw back. They're getting their power back. And they're also understanding that they can't be... The gallivanting out fun 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 when they're especially if they're a certain age you know um and this could have been something that could have frustrated you all right so this is your general reading again it's to no fixed sign um and it's you take what you want from it okay so the next video will be on sunday so this is going to be another in-depth reading um the energy is different on a sunday it's going to be a little bit later on sunday because i'm i'm coming back from cornwall um but we'll see how that plays out for you and tomorrow evening i'm going live with my cards on facebook um so eight o'clock tomorrow see you there all right um, and also just thanks guys to who um those who attended my spiritual sofa session yesterday it was amazing to interact with your soul tribe with people who have amazing experience outlooks um and just to get a different perspective of things you know um and just to talk you know because in these strange times not enough people are talking they're too much in their minds okay so enjoy this reading i hope it resonated for you if not don't you worry i will be doing a tarot of the day tomorrow take what you want all right and i will see you tomorrow evening eight o'clock live if you are wanting a card um, and i will do as many people as possible okay you take care have a beautiful tuesday evening and i will see you tomorrow take care